Yo, what's going on dudes? Welcome to the video. Today we are going to be showing you the five best ways to improve at Fortnite in Fortnite Chapter 5. Now this is for zero builds, but these tips will be universal. They'll be most kind of appreciated in zero build mode, so keep that in mind. I'm going to be trying to make in some tips more specifically for build mode later. There is a rumor as well for those coming in, asking about movement, wondering what's going on. Movement is going to be fixed. Epic has basically confirmed it on their Twitter that a change is coming to Fortnite movement. Basically, for those who don't know, if you boot up the game, you're like, wow, Fortnite feels weird. Um, they nerfed forward movement by 10%, and they're going to be changing it in the future. Now, starting off for the tips and the tricks. Number one is finding a great drop spot. This spot got oddly contested. This is Fortnite ranked mode, Fortnite zero build ranked mode. Um, and so I actually got contested pretty hard here off the rip. Um, this is zero build mode, so it's a little bit sketchy when other people contest you. This guy jumped on my forehead without a gun. Not sure what he was doing. But the number one tip as well is just finding a place that you can loot, getting your loot as quick as possible so you can rotate to zone. And the next thing really is rotating to zone and getting medallions and then getting a weapon bench but we'll explain that as we go as of right now i know there's five other people who've dropped in here with me i need to get what is the core loadout which is for zero build you want to be getting a auto shotgun you want to be getting a like scar style i think it's a striker ar is what it's called you want to be getting that for your um for your ar and then you want to be getting a sniper snipers in this game are incredible they tweaked and fixed it for controller so if you had a really hard time sniping in the past, you're going to have a great time this season. I'm not going to lie. They've been massively, massively tweaked. As much as that first whiff uh, didn't indicate it, it's gotten a lot better, a lot easier to snipe in Fortnite. A lot of that's got to do with the aim assist and some of the changes they made, but overall the system feels way, way cleaner. So right now, again, we're trying to secure the drop. So this, again, being zero builds, we do want to push over, but we don't want to be too carried away. I can hear them fighting i had uh, like a little bit of a visual indicator of shots so i know these guys are scrapping it out with each other hit the back to back collapse on this guy oh my god i know there's got one more dude down there luckily he was lit and he goes down and so we can rotate over we can yoink their loot clutch little start to this we got three kills off the rip which is excellent for ranked ranked most importantly if you if you aren't just getting into it you can play pubs you can play ranked really doesn't matter to me both are great for improving at fortnite right now but if you play ranked you're not going to get any bots so one thing if you find it really frustrating you're always fighting bots definitely worth considering i happen to notice this guy take a pop shot on me whiffed all my shots there let's see if we can get him running tag Miss, whiff. I find this sniper scope really weird. 275, baby, let's go. But yeah, I find this sniper scope pretty weird the two times, but the 4X is amazing. And there's a combination that I will show you guys with the snipers that you're really, really gonna like. We'll be able to see that at the weapon bench in a bit. I'm gonna just rotate in. So right now there's a medallion um, just to my east uh, from this location. So that's kind of why I like to drop here. It's at a really tough location. It's at one of those big mansions uh, at, at the Glacier. And so it's really hard for people to win this off the rip. So one strategy of coming down here, again, there's crazy loot down on this section of the map. I'm getting shot in the back here. Where's this dude at? But there's crazy loot on this section of the map. Um, but it's really, really close to the Glacier. And so there's a medallion there. So we can rotate in after and just uh, scoop that up. And usually it takes guys... Especially in solo, so long to kill the NPC. Nasty, dude. I got two 275s off the rip, man. So we grab Shockwaves there instead of the Grappler. Definitely prefer that over the Grappler. Um, but yeah, I, I really... Man, the snipers are so good, dude. I used to be really into sniping in Battlefield. Um, like, way back in the day. For those who don't know, I actually used to stream that game before I got into streaming Fortnite. I think it was, like, rated top five in the world uh, for the recon class for console players. Which, obviously, is not a huge player base, but it's still pretty big. Battlefield's a pretty big game. So, I, I love snipers. For the last while, they haven't really fake, felt great to use, but they feel great right now. And there's some major changes that you can make to your sniper right now to make it even better. Right now, I got a pretty goofy loadout on my sniper. 
and I can make it much, much better and much, much more lethal. And I'm going to show you guys how to do that as we rotate in towards Grand Glacier. Now you can see, as I predicted, the, uh, the medallion is still up. And so, I, at this point, I don't know if there's anybody in there on the guy. Maybe they're just waiting for him to die in zone. One thing with the zones, I've been seeing people complaining about how quickly they move. They only really move quick and are punishing in build mode. In zero build mode, they tick for a lot less. You can even get to moving zones in zero build mode. Like, if you make it all the way to endgame, you will actually sometimes see, I think, the first moving zone will still only be hitting for two. So you can literally play this stro so strategically, play kind of close to zone, and go for heal offs if you want to. Um, but, again, we're, right now we're focused on the medallions. My number one piece of advice for going for medallions is don't throw your game for one. It's really popular to kind of drop on the main medallion spot. Get him a nice little 275 tag here. And another dude jumps in here. We get another guy engaged. Not sure what his deal is. He's, uh, he's up top. He's the guy who just shot this dude. There he is. Boom. Never mind. That was an NPC. What am I saying, dude? <laughs> that was an NPC. Am I crazy, bro? I thought that was a different player. Anyways, okay. It was actually me who killed the uh, the the guy there. Gosh. Okay, so. Um, basically, you don't want to throw your games for the medallions. It's, you're better off, especially if you're trying to play ranked and get the best average result you can, to just get as best of loot you can. And then you can rotate late. To one of these weapon benches you can always let somebody else open them and then kind of sneak in after the fact obviously i got the medallion that's why i was able to open the vault but if you just wait it out you can kind of let somebody else do the yoinking of the weapon benches and so you'll get two snipers in there best to grab them for ammo you'll also get a lot of gold here and you're going to need gold for upgrading at your weapon bench so definitely uh pickaxe the gold get the gold going um, I think you get like 700 gold. I'm not entirely sure. I haven't really counted. But you get quite a lot of gold from this, and it should cover your weapon upgrades every game. You can kind of speed it up by pickaxing everything from the bottom. And I think if you're playing in build mode, you can actually speed this up by just laying down pyramids. But first off, for our sniper, we went to 4x scope. We want a quick mag, and we want the angled foregrip. What this does, getting the angled foregrip on your sniper lets you go Call of Duty mode, bro. Uh, for the AR, we want to get the uh, muzzle brake. We want to get the like recoil steadying foregrip. And then for our shotgun, we want to go no sight. We want to go speed mag. Uh, and we want to go laser. And then suppressor can kind of keep you off the map a little bit. Keep you from showing up on visualized indicators. Uh, which is really, really helpful. But to go back to the sniper. Right now, guys, snipers are the best gun in the game. So my number one... I keep saying number one tip. This might be like number three tip here. My number three tip is to definitely, definitely learn the snipers, get good at them. They're so much better. And once you get that angled foregrip on your sniper rifle, you can actually quick scope people in this game. Straight Call of Duty style, like you're in Black Ops. It's actually wild, and uh, I think I'm going to light it up in this gameplay uh, just with the sniper. It is in rank, so we'll see if we can get this dub. But I, uh, I really really love the snipers right now they go so freaking hard another thing you can get adjusted to and accustomed to is leading your shots it's really tricky i'm still kind of learning how to do it and how each di different individual weapon uh kind of performs that way i know that suppressed weapons have a little bit more lead it slows down the bullet velocity so if you are trying to lead your shots be prepared to lead your shots even more if you attach a uh, suppressor um that's why with a sniper rifle i would definitely definitely recommend going with Either a muscle break or just no barrel attachment, but that will keep your shots from just taking forever to shoot. And we get sniped in the back right here. Again, snipers are very, very prevalent. And so you're going to want to be aware of that, but you're also going to want to be using a sniper as well yourself so that you can defend from it. So we led that shot good. Nice 110. Let's see. This guy's going to probably be a bit patient. One thing is right now as well, guys, this season is pushing people is very difficult. You really only got shockwaves and the grappler, but if somebody sh comes at you with the grappler and they're trying to come in your direction, all you gotta do is just whip your AR out and hose them down, dude. That's all you gotta do. You gotta use that AR to your advantage, and the grappler kinda locks them in, it moves slow, it doesn't move as quickly as other stuff. Like, just the grappler gun from last season that used to kinda launch people up into the air. 
And this version of the Grappler doesn't do that. This guy smartly has Shockwaves. He's rotating in. You'll see him do something smart, which is use the natural cover of the map. There's a lot of natural cover, a lot of rolling hills that you can kind of use as a way to peek over them, see where people might be pressing you from. This guy uses it well, but then sneaks up again in the open, and we just fry him for that, but then I make the same mistake myself. I'm low on ammo, so I go with the auto shotgun, and I get absolutely ripped here. And again, that, that's the thing. You've got to be trying to rotate maybe zone to zone more than straight at people. And if you're going to rotate straight at somebody, definitely don't do it with the auto shotgun unless you're point blank on them. The auto shotgun, in my opinion, if you're playing zero builds, is the best shotgun. But it is so weak unless you can get on top of them. And so, really, I should have probably just reloaded the striker AR and then pushed. Or I could have shockwaved myself into a better angle. But... Just a tip for me, don't do what I just did. That was a bad play in the moment, but we're lucky that that guy, I had him super ripped, and we were able to make the play. But I really, even though I had that guy like literally one hit, I had him down to about 30 health, I actually gave him an opportunity opportunity to win that. If he had been like a, a booga, like an absolutely insane uh, skilled aim player, he might have actually got me right there. So that's something to keep in mind. Um, or if he had like a medallion, again, the medallions, I haven't really talked about this too much, but medallions will give you passive heals in this game. So I got one right now from going to um, the Glacier location and killing the NPC. But uh, there's lots and lots of medallions around the map. There's five total. And so what will happen is as you see somebody with a medallion, and I'm sure it's going to happen soon as the zone closes a little bit. But as you, you see somebody with a medallion, you'll see this big circle on the map. And that circle will actually get tighter and tighter depending on how many medallions they actually are carrying. So right now, you can't see it on my screen. But for other people, there will be like a, a little bit of a um, little bit of a like yellow circle showing up around me. And it'll give people my approximate location. Now, another tip here, baby. Big one is get the G-Wagon. You'll see these all around the map. They have the most cover for player. For players, if you've ever played like H1Z1 or Player Unknown's Battlegrounds, Really similar vibe to using this and using a vehicle. This thing is cracked. It'll eat so many shots. It'll, it has a lot of health. We have 1,050 health on this thing. The fuel also burns very slowly, and it maintains its momentum when you're going over, like, uneven terrain. If you're using a vehicle that's like a, a car, that will slow down as you drive over terrain like this. But the G-Wagon stays flames the whole time and so now again here's what we're talking about we're talking about that medallion i see that yellow circle that size of yellow circle indicates that that player has one medallion and i can roughly estimate that he's over on top of that big big hill so what do we do do we play chill and say oh, i'm not gonna push up he's got high ground on me i don't want to do that nah we're not gonna do that because the map is so big and there's so much cover, and I got a freaking G-Wagon, and we got the Sniper. And because we have that 4X scope and the angled foregrip, we can straight quick scope. So I'm feeling really confident. Right now, I also would recommend pushing with your Sniper equipped. If you're driving a G-Wagon, have your Sniper ready to go in the slot that you already had equipped. Whatever you're driving, whenever you jump into a vehicle, when you jump out, you'll have the last weapon equipped. So I want that to be my Sniper Ideally, I jump out, hit a quick scope, 250 headshot, and uh, do the take the L on his noggin. But that does, that's not always the case. So instead, I might try to go for a 110 body shot, which we pull off right there. Bingo. Then we go for the hose down. He shockwaves, and we lead the bullets, and there it is. Now we got ourselves another medallion as long as we can get to it. I know he was fighting somebody else, so I'm playing this a little bit cautiously. Always good to have a little bit of that awareness, and I was correct. And there's the enemy teammate, or the enemy player, sorry. So this guy's trying to fry me, trying to get a peek. I'm hard scoping for a little bit too long. Another tip I'll give you guys, don't hard scope too long. That's the major advantage of switching to that angled foregrip on the sniper. If you can scope in, scope out really quickly, that's a huge advantage. When you're scoped in on sniper, even if you're strafing side to side, you're moving very, very slowly. And again, because everybody's got a sniper this season, it's really tough if you stay hard scoped. And so if this guy sees hard scoping me, boom! We'll be seeing you, buddy, later on, dude. Have a good one. I'm better. Um, and now I know there's a mythic auto shotgun here. Uh, so I'm just having a look for that. I think it's in the middle. There it is. It's really hard to see that. It kind of blends in with the hill pretty good. 
So we got uh, Oscar's Frenzy Auto Shotgun. Again, that is one of the medallion locations. So if you take out the NPC, uh, I believe this guy is to the north in this big kind of mansion style thing. Um, and notice there, that was a purple sniper. Here's another tip for you guys. Don't automatically swap out unless you're really close to a weapon bench. If you're using a sniper, a, a headshot is a headshot and a headshot is an instant kill with the snipers always. And so, if you if I swap out right there, I was going to lose my quick angle foregrip. I was going to lose my 4x scope. Those are all the things that make this sniper incredible. And even though, if I body shot with the blue sniper, it's 110. And if I body shot with the purple sniper, it's 116. While that's nice to have, if I can't get my quick scopes on, I don't want that smoke, dude. I don't want to do that. So, I'm going to keep the blue sniper. And I would recommend you do that type of thing in this situation. Now, we are chilling on the top of the hill. Big chilling right now. So, what you want to do, I'm, I'm just going to go for some peeks on people here. But I know I'm on the very edge of the map. And so, when it comes to zero build, this is how you got to position yourself. Especially because we have these huge, like, geog geographic features on these maps that you can use as cover. What you want to be doing is basically using this as kind of your barrier to players. So, I'm on the high ground and I'm kind of holding these guys and watching these guys as they come in. Like, because these guys are not dumb, they don't push directly at me or try to, like, grapple up this hillside. And so, I can basically just use this as a way to ensure that I'm safe and then figure out where next zone is going to be and, and chill out. And so, I, there is a launch pad above me. I could use that to fly around and just check and see if I can see anybody creeping up. We also have our G-Wagon left up here again because we're going to use that G-Wagon to rotate down and in the zone. And that's exactly what we're going to do. We can see a big zone pull and we're going to use that G-Wagon as a way to position ourselves in zone, isolate ourselves so that we don't get shot. We can cover off angles with the G-Wagon and then we can whip out our sniper. So we hear some shots down there. I also have a look around. I can see a guy in a G-Wagon creeping up. He sees me flying. So I'm going to just get some cover, see if he continues to make the push. Which he does not. I can see the roof of his G-Wagon right there. But I think just being flying above him kind of discourages from making that play. And you know what? Kudos to this guy. Would be pretty dumb to push me right now. I have the height advantage. Just having another peek at him. I can see him moving around. I know I got to go. And he knows I have to move to him. And so I think he's trying to hold position. And just wait for me to maybe push down the hill. But I don't care about that, dude. I just yeet myself in the G-Wagon down the hill. We're big chilly. And we will make our way into zone. And now we're going to make our way to the narrow part of zone. We should, if, unless this guy gets in the G-Wagon, we should be able to make it in ahead of him. But I think he decides to go on foot here, which is a huge mistake. He's going to move it on foot. We whip the shot. He jumps. I whip the shot. And so now what we're going to do with the G-Wagon, instead of just being in the open, we're going to bring it to some rocks. So we can both use the G-Wagon as cover. And then also use um, the rocks as cover. So it just gives us a little bit of an extra opportunity here to uh, basically hide away. And that guy, I don't know if I'm going to get the kill on this dude. He managed to get in a G-Wagon and roll away. That's the smart play by this guy. Respect for making the smart play. This guy hears all these shots I'm making, though. He's deciding to push for it. Again, because we can quick scope in and out, it's clutch, man. This guy's going with the, uh, the disabling grenade play. Easy clap. Dude had so many medallions. I think he had, what, two medallions there? Three medallions? I'm not even sure, man. I picked them up so quick. Um, we're going to grab that uh, scar. So that's at the fields. Now, this guy did disable my G-Wagon here. And now we're finally, we're finally onto a five-tick zone. So keep that in mind as well, guys. If zone panics you in zero builds, it only becomes five-tick right now now and so you can see i still have so much ability to get into zone at this point and now we've got a mythic auto shotgun again the auto shotgun being the best gun in the game and we got the mythic ar and while i don't have necessarily the exact attachments i want on these weapons um they do have the best damage you get a nice easy 110 on this guy he jumps back down that's a smart play and i get hitched on nothing like nothing at all what the heck and so, I'm going to try to maybe push in. Didn't realize there was a drop there. I, that was a little bit of a butt pucker for a second there. And we're going to check this guy out. And he's rotating away in the Jeep. Not a bad play. I made a big mistake right there. So, again, this is one thing I would not recommend doing. I left my Jeep in zone. Don't do that. Use your G-Wagon as much as possible. We can hear shots right there. And so, now, because I don't have a G-Wagon, 
what I'm going to do is use zone and use the terrain of the map. So I know that zone's about to close out on this side. And I thought I heard there might have been footsteps behind me. And, and overall, I'm just kind of checking to make sure nobody's rotating behind me. But we're going to skirt along this where we kind of are right along the skyline of this hill. And so we can pop up over the hill and take a shot. Or we can just dip heavily behind it to take cover. Again, we're still rotating on the outskirts. With a little bit of a shot there, but we're frying them with this AR, dude. And that AR is so good, bro. So good. And yeah, so I do have all the medallions. I have five medallions. There is no other medallions on the map at this point. So medallions, when you have them all, stack like crazy. Because I have five, I actually get five shield back per second right now. Which is just nuts. And again, we're going back to that sniper discussion we just had. There's a, a gold sniper on the ground, but because it doesn't have the attachments I'd want, we're not going to bother. We're going to fry that guy to get him off of us. We see this guy pushing up. Easy fry with the mythic uh, striker AR, dude. I love this thing. This thing is so good. It's really hard to go for this off the rip, though. The, uh, the fields where it drops at go crazy. I think it's like Frenzy Fields or something like that. Uh, it's, it's like a middle-of-the-map location. There's always about 10 people dropping there and ranked. I would not necessarily recommend it. And now we have a G-Wagon in it. So what we're going to do, and we actually see another G-Wagon. Because these are great cover, we're going to actually bring these up together. Kind of stick them together. We got a nice 110 on that guy. And look, we can do that like lickety split, bro. Boom, boom. 110s. 110s. 1v1 situation. What do we got? We can use the G-Wagon to rotate or... We can just post up. We see one dude. We take a shot. Whiff. 110. Flew the air. Hit him with the quick scope and the auto shotty, baby. Oh my goodness. All right. And that's it, baby. Those are my tips right now. My top five tips. Get the best drops. Secure the best loot off the rip. Focus on getting medallions, but don't throw your game. And then if you can't get the medallion, still rotate to a medallion location and get a weapon bench. Lead your shots and focus on rotating and use that G-Wagon. Hope you guys in the video. Drop a like.